in this particular problem that is problem number six of array of characters also known as strings i'm going to show you how we can write our own code to compare whether two strings are the same this is going to be a case sensitive version in the sense uppercase a is going to be considered different from lowercase a so let's say i have defined the maximum size of characters of the array as 50 all right so here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to replace original as max and i'm also going to replace copy as max then the next step is i've initialized origin or original with the initial value arjun i'm going to ask the user enter some name into the copy let us say he enters arjun or raman or whatever it is we'll test it out now in order to do a compare i have written my own function called as compare here i am passing the original array as well as i am passing the copy since arrays are passed by address all right we are going to pass the address of org and copy so first what we shall do is we shall try to write the code for this compare function so what i am going to do here is i am going to say copy this i am going to say int compare okay i'm going to say sorry care star o indicates original care star c indicates the copy o and c contain the addresses of the original and copy of the array then what i'm going to do is using the while loop i can check or i can start doing the popping so the first condition i put is while this fellow original is equal to the copy star o means comparing value at that particular location is they are the same and i do not want both of them to be null at any point of time star o not equal to backslash zero and star c not equal to backslash zero i'll do the explanation once this typing and execution is going to be done now here what i am doing is i am comparing both the arrays at the same place okay i'll explain once we try to run it then at the same time i need to go to the next place so i am going to increase the original pointer by one i am going to increase the copy pointer by one this way i am able to go to the next location once i go to the next location all right the comparison can proceed till either one or both of them hit null now here we need to do a if condition to find out whether they are both equal if star o is equal to the null character that means it has reached the end of the string as well as star c okay has also reached the null character that means both the strings must be equal so what i am going to do here is i am going to do a return of zero indicating a successful comparison that they are perfectly same else i am going to return minus one all right and this is going to be the end of this particular function so here what i am going to do here is if i am going to do compare i am going to copy this fellow okay if compare returns a value zero okay that means both the strings are equal <coughs> otherwise i'm going to say printf both are equal just trying to shorten up the message because that's not the critical part else printf both are d i f e r e n t all right so here what is going to happen here is when this compare function is going to be called based on the comparison you're going to return a value 0 or minus 1 if both the strings happen to be equal then a value of 0 is going to be returned and it's going to say both are equal otherwise it's going to say both are different now what we shall do here is first let's try to copy and execute this particular problem and then we shall go ahead with the 
explanation. All right, <clears throat> let me remove excess spaces. I'm going to help you. Okay, there is some error, uh, which is that line 29 by 2. Uh, where is line 29? Okay, we must have forgotten some parentheses here. All right, that's one. Let's see if it runs now. Okay, enter the second string. I'm going to enter Arjun as the second string. So it's saying both are equal, but let us verify by giving a different name. Let's give Arjun in capital and let's see if it matches. It should say not equal because we're doing a case sensitive. Both are different. Okay, now we'll proceed to go ahead and explain how this particular function really works. So what I have done is I've defined an array of characters size max 50. The original array with the size 50, I have given it the initial value Arjun. The copy again with the size max, I have not given it any initialization or any initial value. I am going to ask the user to enter the value into copy. So as you had seen, I had entered Arjun and I had entered Arjun in uppercase. Now I am calling this function compare passing the parameter original as well as passing the parameter copy. So the address of O, sorry, the address of original is going to go into O. The address of copy is going to go into C. The reason for this is arrays are always passed by address in C. Since these are single dimensional arrays, it is a normal pointer to a character. This C is also a pointer to a character. Now let me do the explanation for you. Suppose I have something like this A R J U N. Okay. All right. And let me write it here also. A R J U N N. So now what is going to happen here is initially O, let us assume this fellow is O, the original and this fellow is the copy. So what we are going to do with the original and copy is initially the original is going to point or refer to A. O is going to contain the address of this particular A. Okay, star O means it is going to refer to value A. C is going to contain address of A, star C is going to contain the value A. So when I am saying star O equal to star C, I am comparing A with A. And I am also checking that they are not referring to the null character because if either of them hits the null, then I have to get off. Then after I compare the first character, both are same. Now what you see is what I am doing O plus plus and C plus plus happens is since you are O plus plus and C plus plus, I am not incrementing the values, I am incrementing the pointers. So O is now going to contain the address of this R, C is going to contain the address of this R. Now when we come back, what is the value referred to by O? It is capital R. Value referred to by C is a small r. So this condition fails. When I come here, neither of them are pointing to the null character. So I am going to return minus 1. Okay, I am going to return minus 1. Once I return minus 1, this if condition becomes false and it is going to print both are different. The key aspect to understand here is you need to understand arrays and pointers. O is containing the address of A, C is containing the address of capital A. Star O is referring to A, star C is also referring to A. So star gives you the value at that particular address. If pointers are not clear, please go back to my pointer lectures. Take a look, spend some time and then only come here and try to make an effort to understand. Because in real world, when you join the industry, you are almost always expected to write programs using functions and pointers.